So along with the R3, Canon have just announced two brand new RF lenses. And the one we're going to be looking at in this video is the RF 100-400mm f5.6 to f8 IS USM lens. Now, there's a lot to actually talk about here. We haven't had a chance to actually properly shoot with this yet, but we have got loads of sample images from Canon. And the two big talking points are going to be the size and the weight, and then that f5.6 to f8 aperture. So first of all, let's just touch on the size and the weight, because frankly, it is astonishing how light and how small this is. So it's a similar design to the EF 70 to 300 millimeter. You know, it's nice and small. It's an external zoom, so it does zoom out, but it is still nice and small, easy to put in a bag, and it's very nice and lightweight as well. It is definitely going to surprise you how light it is when you pick it up. Now it's got 5.5 stops of image stabilization, which is increased to six stops when you're using the in-body image stabilization as well. That really helps with handheld shooting. And this is obviously designed with that in mind. You know, you're gonna be able to really take this out and handhold it no matter what you are shooting. Now, of course, like you would expect from an RF lens, you've got the control ring on there, but you've also got nano USM for smooth and fast focusing. Now let's address the other thing that is probably standing out to you. That f5.6 to f8 aperture because that stuck out to me as well that's probably a little slower than you're used to seeing all the way up to f8 when zoomed to 400 millimeter but the thing is the reason it sticks out to us is because there was a time and it really wasn't that long ago where autofocus wouldn't be able to keep up with that it just wouldn't work and of course that would just be too dark but now, the autofocus system absolutely can work with this. So with cameras like the R5, the R6, the R3, the autofocus is so ridiculously good that that is just not a problem. And then on top of that, ISO capabilities now are so good that you can just shoot at ISO 3200 without even really thinking about it. 6400 is just not a problem anymore. Even when the EOS R came out, the ISO capability was so ridiculously good, it kind of changed things with regards to what aperture you can shoot at. Now, I'm not going to pretend that you would be using this for night photography. You know, realistically, that's probably not going to be a thing. But actually, f5.6 to f8 is way more usable than it might initially sound like. And actually, this is coming in at a pretty reasonable price as well. And this is giving you a great telephoto option for those RF cameras. Now, of course, you can check the price and all the full spec by following the link in the description. We're hoping to get our hands on this as soon as possible to properly test it out because this is a really interesting lens but in the meantime you can subscribe for more content of course give the video a like if you enjoyed it as well i'll see you in the next video and as always thanks for watching